Today's recipe is chicken tempura with sweet chili sauce. Make sure that you watch the recipe entirely in order to get the best results. Now for this recipe I'm using 750 grams of chicken breast, but if you wish you can definitely go with chicken thighs and to be fair you might even get better results and I suggest preparing your chicken first because this way till you get to the next of the ingredients it will get marinated slightly and it will taste better obviously. And I'm gonna cut it into strips. Now out of one breast I'm gonna get three or four depending on how big the breast actually is. Now in terms of seasoning we're gonna begin simple with a good pinch of salt and a good pinch of freshly ground black pepper. After this I've got here sweet chili sauce. I'm going in with about two tablespoons, a cloth of grated garlic and optionally, but I like it because I feel it gives you quite a bit of a kick, I'm adding one tablespoon of sriracha. Now mix everything together until well combined. Leave it on the side to marinate until we prepare the tempura butter. Okay, so for the tempura butter, which is something that we've done on the channel previously, very simple. I've got here 100 grams of plain flour. It goes in, but not before you sift it because this way you're gonna get your flour nicely aerated because it gives to the butter a nicer consistency and it gets crispier. I'm following up with 50 grams of corn flour. Same thing, in goes a good pinch of salt and a pinch of freshly ground black pepper. Now with the dry ingredients in, we're adding in 230 milliliters of cold water, but just make sure that you're adding in gradually so it doesn't form any lumps. In goes one whole egg, and to keep this mixture nice and cold, which is quite important if you wanna get good results, I'm going in with five ice cubes. In terms of consistency, this is what you're looking for. Now in terms of deep frying, set the pan on high heat and add in about half liter of veg oil. Now with the dredge for the chicken, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not adding any seasoning, but don't get me wrong, you know, you can add seasoning because I feel like sometimes actually really works. We're just testing the oil with a bit of flour and it's bubbling, it feels like it's ready. So chicken into the dredge. After the dredge, it goes into the tempura butter. You don't wanna get more than five or six because you're gonna overcrowd the pan and then you're not gonna get it crispy because it just doesn't have enough space to develop. Now just a little trick here, if you wanna get extra crispiness on your chicken, get some butter on it after you add it into the pan. Just a few drips and this will get stuck to the chicken and get it a nice coating of crispiness. Now, depending on how thick you cut your chicken, this will take anywhere from two to three minutes on both sides to cook all the way through. Because of the sweet chili coating, the chicken can get darker on the outside, but without being cooked. That's why, if you're not sure what you're doing, try to use a proper thermometer and cook it at safe to eat temperature, which is 75 degrees Celsius or above. Now with the tempura chicken ready, I like to serve this with sweet chili sauce, but it's totally up to you. And I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more simple recipes like this. Mmm.